Hey, this is Kevin, you're watching wingsound.com. In this video, we're gonna look at DJ basics, and I'm gonna get started with an overview of sampling. So check it out. Okay, so let's do some sampling here. Uh, go over to my file browser, and uh, I'm gonna drag in a Fleetwood Mac song. Okay, get out of there. And uh, as we can see, here's our waveform. So let's take a look, see how it sounds. So as you can tell, we got to do a little work here. Um, drag your first bar right up on the transients. And then, uh, what I like, to, what you really want to do is find the one at the end of the intro there. So. Closer there. So I like to find the one at the beginning of the intro and the the, the one at the uh, the beginning of the song itself. All right, so that sounds pretty good. And uh, as you can see, the uh, It'll show you what it warps to, which is like 126. So if you want to preserve uh, the song tempo itself, you could bring that up to 126 if you want. Now I want to just sample this little intro thing right here. So we're gonna loop that. Set our endpoint to measure five. And uh, what I noticed here is that in the third measure, kind of comes on a little late. You know, it's not perfect. Um, so we're gonna drag that over there just to get that on point. this loop. Alright, and then you press tab and go over to your arrangement view and uh, you'll see the sample that you have created. Just drag that over here, get this down and loop it. Okay, so there we go. Um, now I can cut up my sample. Uh, I particularly don't like this little symbol hit at the end here, so if I hit Command E, that'll chop it up. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to copy this little part that was right before it. And if you hit Command D, it'll automatically duplicate it. So let's see how that sounds. Well, that's not bad. Um, another cool thing you could uh, mess around with is uh, this little button right here will reverse the sample itself. But since I only had this little chop right here selected, it will uh, it'll just reverse that part. Yeah, I like that. But um, there is a little clip when I add it in. There it is right there. So what I usually do is uh, just duplicate that. Control Command D and Command D and then uh, you, if you still hear a little blip you could reverse one of them so that they go in and out of each other smoothly. Uh, so there's our sample.
get the idea. Um, so that is the basics of sampling um, and when you are done with your sample and uh, you got it the way you want it make sure you click save and that'll save all your markers and uh, your start and end points and your loop points. Check out Kevin's new series of videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live available on demand at wigsound.com.